2010 world champion. And uh, he's going to commentate this first heat out in the water. We have Trevor Cam in a yellow on this wave right here, looking for an inside section. Quick little spin, punches through that white watery lip and pulls a roll. Mark McCarthy in red and up and riding. Here nice he is. Nice spin. Uh, getting some speed. It's kind of condition you want to get some score. A nice roll, extended roll. Yeah, it's pretty tricky out there. I just came out of the water and uh, it's pretty windy. And I saw some good waves on the last section, but it might be pretty hard to be at the lineup and to really choose the good one. So I think guys want to get some score quickly and then maybe catch a bomb or like have an opening wave with a good face to get some good moves. Uh, we got Dave about from Hawaii, roll, take off, spin, get a bit white inside, and now I'm going to die in the channel. So we have round two, so it's elimination round. Uh, McCarthy in red, Dave about from Hawaii, Trevor from Hawaii, and Ruben Kilones, the local uh, of the event. Yes, in this scenario, only the first and second place finishers advance on to round number three. Third and fourth place, that is the end of the road for the competition for them. So it's all about first and second place in yeah. this heat uh, for the next four heats. And, uh, oh, man, it's, it, yeah, it's it'll be a shame stressful. to go so far and, uh, not, and not, not make, make it. it. So uh, we got a few trialists in uh, this round, so we're going to see them later on. But currently out in the water, Mark McCarthy leading the charge with a 5.63. These are going to be... 30-minute heats, and um, th we're going to end off today's yeah. event today okay. with these heats. But okay, again, we'll get uh, some score coming. Yes, here uh, we go. So McCarthy with 5.63 for his spin and extended roll. Dave about with uh, for his roll and spin, and Trevor with like an inside wave or uh, spin and roll get a 3.88. Uh, and Ruben Kinnon is still waiting with the first priority. Still waiting the next wave, like his first wave actually. And here we go. He's there. Bobby Kinnon is the off, Puerto Rican. Waves. We're it. waiting for it. Nice section. Oh, it's a bit for me. Oh. He tried to make a roll and uh, now gets sucked over. Uh, but it's plenty of time. He's going to get back to the lineup and find another wave. It's pretty hard with the wind to get the good timing with the leap and to really push out all the maneuvers and get out from the waves because it's what, what the judge wants to see. Some, way, some maneuvers out of the wave with clean landing in critical section. So he did well. He hit the right section, but that one was not. So, uh, Amory Laverne, a.k.a. Maz, he is uh, the 2010 world champion. What was that like, and what is it now, being a, a, a world champion, a former world champ, to be in the same uh, category as Mike Stewart, Guillermo Tamega, Andre Botha, Ben Player, Damian King, Jeff Hubbard, all these you know, prestigious yeah, you got names? Two, side, two sides, I think. There is one side, you really you are in the dream, and... It's make you like uh, give you so much motivation and it's really positive. Uh, and on the other side, sometimes in some situation, you really have to prove that you deserve your world title and and to show people that that, uh, that yeah you deserve it and you can you can bodyboarding. A responsibility. <laughs> yeah, it's responsibility for sure. Even yeah. like in your country and for your sponsors and for all the contest after this. Well, oh, yeah. And I give you all the respect in the world. You actually took that world title and, uh, you know, you re accepted that responsibility. I want to touch back on something. No worries. But uh, Trevor on his second wave with a nice roll. That section was pretty bad, but he did well. A spin. The wire is pretty warm here, and you can see his board getting a bit, like, flexy and <laughs> yes. can't really made it. Uh, we got McCarthy with a nice roll. Small wave, too. Pretty white. Spin. And I think the wave's going to die. Maybe it's going to have a quick inside, but... You see that rider really want some scores. They don't really trying to get the best wave. They're really trying to make make points. And uh, yeah, Mark, well that wave is gonna get back to the lineup as quick as possible and trying to find his another good wave. Actually, he's, he was first with a 5.63, so he just want to secure his position with a second score. He knew that he knew that the waves are not really consistent. The good ones, I mean, and uh, yeah, so he's gonna get another average score, but. Oh, you got a roll takeoff on that one. A bit for me, but he did well. He didn't lose speed. Pass this section uh, to another section, then roll it again. Uh, pretty bad section, but he did well. You can see all his board getting out of the waves. And uh, yeah, he's going to make another spin and touch the shore. So he get a six point for this wave. So yeah, two, two good rolls outside. The judge liked it. Uh, now he's secure his first place. Uh, and yeah, now I think it's Dave about with the second priority. 
And uh, it was the first priority two actually because Mark just catch a wave. Uh, Trevor passed second now with a 3.78 on his last wave, but Dave about just need a 3.08, so and Ruben just had a 1.83 on his first roll attempt. So I yeah, yeah. I wanted to ask you um, the the thing that you that you did as a world champion. The one thing that you did as a world champion is actually uh, put together a book. And uh, I picked it up. You actually gave me one in uh, Reunion 9, and, and, I, and I love it. And I think every bodyboarder should have this book in their, uh, in their library. And how do they get one? I mean, I had a friend ask yeah. me. I'm like, you know what? I don't know. Let's yeah, actually, I, I just finished the French version. Okay. Uh, so it's all sold in France. And I'm I have the, the English version, but I'm, I'm working on distribution. It's pretty hard to distribute. Okay. Uh, for in Australia, I would love to distribute it in, in England and in USA. But the English version is done since a couple of months, so now I'm working on the distribution, and I'm going to work on the Spanish and Portuguese version for S so next year. So they still have to wait. Uh, yeah, like I think next year, during the next year, it's going to come out, the English version. Okay. And, uh, and yeah, I think I'm going to make it on iPad, and, uh, and people see. can okay. read it. Yeah, I'm booking all of that because it was a big job to translate everything and yeah. to... Yeah, because in bodyboarding, not it's hard to find some good budget and to organize something big. But I think I did a, a great book. <laughs> All right. Well, I, I love I love that what you had what you handed me. And if uh, is that what's gonna what it's gonna be? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If uh, if you. We'll let you know either on the IBA World Tour. Maz will hit, he'll use all his uh, all his channels to get it out, and uh, everybody else would make sure that you uh, you have a you know the the link or whatever to make sure you get your hands on this thing because uh, uh, there's not many bodyboarding books out there. When I saw this, I knew that everybody had to get their hands on it. So let us know when that comes yeah, out. Yeah, it's gonna come out soon. Okay. Yeah. So we'll let you know. 2010 World Champ right here, Amory Laverne. And uh, he's coming up in uh, round number three, I believe. Number three, yeah. Okay, so you're going to see him tomorrow as we come back with more live action. But currently, out in the water, this is where we're at. Yeah, okay, so we've got, uh, we've got Babby on his second wave. Uh, waiting oh. for the inside oh, section. Oh, oh, oh. And a nice, nice, nice IRS is on the right. That was good. That was clean. Didn't make his spin after that, but the judge is going to like this. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's going to be the best wave of the heat. Uh, let's see. Mac had a good one just before with two good rolls outside with a six point. Uh, but that was pretty clean, clean landing. And uh, yeah, I think it's going to, the situation is going to change for sure. Um, so we got the replay. First section was pretty bad. You get in the inside, really stall for this section and try to nice. really give his best. And uh, clean landing, that was a nice irises from the local Baby Kinones. He had a 7.5 on that one, uh, so he's get back on the second place. And uh, now he just need a 4.13 to get back on first place. Uh, and Dave about maybe, I'm pretty sure he got the first priority now, waiting for his another good wave. Uh, but it looks pretty tricky out there, eh? But some good section, you saw what Ruben had. Had some good section, just have to to find it. I'm actually staying with Mark Carty and Dave about this trip. Mm -hmm. So they are staying together and uh, and we got Diego there. Diego, we had a pretty bad injury this year in oh, Chile. That was scary. And he's back on, yeah, back on his, uh, on the world tour and uh, yeah, I'm really stoked for him. He could not bodyboarding for a couple months and uh, yeah, I think he's happy to get back on the tour and, uh, and start a fresh year soon. Yeah, that was a scary moment in Chile, but uh, yeah. he's looking good. He's looking healthy, so uh, great for him and great for us to have him on tour. And he's going to sure. be coming up in... Um, yeah, right this morning he yes. won his hit. Yeah, he, he comes into uh, round number three, so it's good to see him still on fire. David Hubbard, the bearded one, taking a look at this left-hander. And, yes, he's dropping in. Okay, getting speed. Nothing's going to happen on that one. The, the right, Actually, the win is better from the left. But uh, but the shapes are hips better on the right. But you can get some good rams. Like the waves are shorter on the left, but pretty pretty shallow. It's more shallow than on the right. So he gets some pretty heavy section, and uh, you can get some good rams there with some good air reverse ball on that left. Um, I remember last year Jeff in free surfing had a massive air reverse here. Yes. Uh, yeah. 
Isabella Sosa had a massive air reverse yeah, too. Barrel to air reverse. Yeah, it was amazing. So I mean, we do have uh, uh, some waves in the forecast coming up for these next uh, few days. But uh, what you see on the screen is your current situation. Thirty minute heats. Top two waves will be scored. Fifteen wave maximum. This is an elimination round. Only two riders will advance on first and second. So uh, Trevor Camp putting putting it down right now. Let's see what he's got. Okay, so bottom turn. Boom. Oh. Nice Iris hit on that foamy section. And he's rolling it. That was pretty good. Oh, uh, yeah, that was a good wave. Just pretty hard. Like on the takeoff, you can. And Dave about behind, but no. Mm -mm. Not going to do anything. Uh, so, yeah, Trevor is surfing good, eh? He's been pretty consistent. All these waves getting some nice high races, backflips, rolls. Uh, and we've got McCarthy getting some speed. Uh, arriving in the section. Oh, 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 nice clean invert. We haven't seen a big invert in a long time yeah. today, so uh, that was that good was to see cool. that. That was cool. That was clean, really clean. He get really out of the out of the section, whole body out. We're gonna see the replay. It's gonna be it's gonna be good to watch. Uh, we can see the timing is gonna. So we got the wave of Trevor first. Look at this section, really, really for me, but he did well. Clean landing, landing really fast on the tail, and a nice clean roll. Uh, that that's gonna be his best wave by far. And uh, and look at the replay of um, okay, it's gonna come soon. The one of McCarthy with a nice invert. Here we go. So he's just getting the speed. We can see how he want it, and he arrived with a nice timing and flying all his body out. Oh my! That was safe, nice landing. You can see his legs getting a bit pop up by the by the shock wave, but uh, but he did well. He did well. That's gonna be yeah the best wave of the hit. Let's see. But uh, yeah, heavy sec the heavier section for sure and really clean landing. So you get a 7.88 oh for the best oh wave oh of the heat for sure. So solid. He's, he's put his, his uh, first place, like a solid first place now, first position. Uh, and we get Dev about on his left, getting whatever he can, that's a small barrel. Nice. Uh, that's all she wrote for David Hubbard on that one. Making some, yeah, great trying to get some waves. It's, it's good in this kind of condition to try and uh, just try uh, as much as you can. Some guys really like to wait, some good ones. But in this kind of condition, sometimes you can find a ball where you don't accept it. And uh, so it's good to try. And uh, I think it's what they're about trying to do. Uh, I know there's a lot of French-speaking viewers out there. So in your best French accent, if you have one, uh, can you just describe everybody the conditions, time, and where we are right now here in the Encanto okay. Pro? Alors pour tous les Français qui nous écoutent, en direct de Puerto Rico. Euh, donc là, je suis avec Manny Vargas dans une, euh, dans une petite cabane où il y a le, le live. Et euh, voilà, dans la clim, alors que je sors juste de l'eau, là, ça caille. Mais euh, ici, ils adorent la clim. Et voilà, et les conditions sont bonnes. Il y a quelques bonnes vagues. Euh, il y a un petit peu de vent, mais il y a du bon niveau. Là, depuis ce matin, franchement, même du bord, on a l'impression que les vagues sont, sont un peu compliquées. Mais euh, les gars sortent super bien. Et, euh, et voilà. Et là, je, suis avec, je dors avec Dave Bard et McCarthy qui sont dans cette série. Donc, euh, j'espère que ça va bien se passer pour eux. Mais la marque a... Et bien lancé là, il sort bien là depuis, depuis le début de la compète. Là ce matin, il a une série un peu chaude. Mais voilà. Mais tout se passe super bien. Il y a Martin qui est encore en série et, euh, et voilà. Il a bien déchiré ce matin. I think I heard voila in there. Yeah. <laughs> so voila, there you have it in French, coming to you live from the Encanto Pro here, brought to you by C Puerto Rico dot com. I'm Ray Laverne from Reunion Island. He is your 2010 and world champion. Here we go. Already with a seven one and a big roll, but it's gonna be hard to land, and he made it. Oh, he claimed it. <laughs> he claimed yeah, it. Yeah, it's um, it's actually just the second round. So guys, there. Don't really want to lose and to back home. They want to make this hit. So he, on, he already have a 7.5 and uh, and he just did it a 2.66 to get back on the second place and look at the replay. The sec heavy section, he just may get stuck a bit in the leap and you think it's going to land in the V, but he made it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, he's happy because he already have a 7.5 so and he didn't have any second wave. So I'm pretty sure he's going to yeah, get back on the second place and we've got... Uh oh. Uh, Trevor with a nice backflip in the closeout. Uh, he tried to spin it outside, but uh, yeah, the wave don't offer much. But yeah, it was a good flip. So that's going to be his best wave. Uh, Ruben had a 5.85 on this one. So he's, yeah, he get a solid second place. And uh, the replay of Trevor, nice flip, putting his leg in the wire to secure his landing. And uh, yeah, he's got some really fast landing, trying to spin out there, but, uh, but not really happening. <laughs> So we got Dave about fourth, need an 8.77, Trevor 
third needed a 7.08. He had a 5.88 on his last backflip. And Ruben Kilonet with a solid second place and McCarthy with a nice first place. So That's yeah, everything can happen. How many minutes? 14 minutes remaining. And yeah, here we are. So, uh, Maz, I put something up on Facebook, uh, a question from Davo, Davo Fever. What do you think about Johan Florentin's victory on the French Championship? He's one of your fellow men, isn't he? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I'm sorry. I saw this last night on, on uh, Facebook, and uh, actually he won last year too, and won this year again. And uh, yeah, I'm really happy for what's happening to Johan the last few few weeks and uh, yeah, he get qualified on the top 24 in just two or three weeks and uh, so yeah, I just came back to it. Dave about on a light bottom turn. Boom! A nice backflip. I race in the closeout. That's going to be his best wave. Uh, and I'm putting him back uh, on the race to the second place and Babi Kilones on his piece of wave but he's not going really far. So get back to Florentine. So yeah, I'm really happy of what's happening to him this year and uh, he's been surfing so well and uh, yeah, yeah, we well organized itself, and we've got Dave about again on that IRS's clean landing. Boom, not too much bottom turn, but uh, he did really well. It's really hard to hit the leap like this with no speed and no bottom turn. Um, and we're getting back on the beach. It's Sunday, it's packed on the beach. Uh, music, people drinking beers, having fun. And uh, yeah. Whoa! <laughs> People are loving the beach, loving bodyboarding here. It's packed of cars on the parking, and, and yeah, it's good to see so much people like this watching a bodyboarding comp, and uh, doesn't matter the waves or whatever, but... Uh, Did you see that guy coming down the beach with an ice chest and a... Uh, no. What is he yeah, selling? Yeah, I saw him, but... You don't know what he's selling? Oh, this guy. This guy over here. Well, I, if they show him again, I want to know who, what he's selling. If, it, if it's burritos, I, I would like like six of them. Here we go, Mark McCarthy. Like the leader of the week, leader of the of, of the, the heat. heat. Oh, oh, throws a backflip right nice there. Back oh, the he comes back under the lip. Can he pull off oh, that that's roll? That's gonna be hard to land that one. Ah, uh, I don't think he pulled that off. Trevor Cam on the Trevor right. Cam on the right, a foamy roll. Getting waiting for the inside section. Maybe it's gonna come back again. Another section. Oh no, the form is a bit too too powerful and just killed killed the the leap. Uh, so we got the same situation. McCarthy maybe is going to get a better score on his last wave. Uh, I'm not really sure, but uh, we got to have the replay there. Uh, look at it, the other section, and a nice backflip. Nice. That was textbook right there. Little, I mean, he could have had a little cool. bit more rotation on the landing to get him around a little better, but uh, you know what? That was a solid maneuver. He could not pull off that roll, but Mark McCarthy holding point. steady. Same score than, uh, than he had before, so he's get the same same situation. Uh, Ruben now, oh, we got a replay of this roll. Boom. And uh, Anya is going to wait for the section, but actually nothing's going to happen. Okay, so it was Trevor from Hawaii. He needed a 7.08 to make it. And uh, Dave about with his last wave, remember, uh, was an IRS in the closeout. He had 6.15. So now we just need a 7.21, and I'm pretty sure it's maybe 10 minutes. Yeah, it's 10 minutes remaining, 10 minutes 45. He can totally do it. Yeah, everything is possible in 10 minutes. I mean, 30 minutes go fast, but uh, there is plenty of waves, and uh, really hard to predict what where is going to come the good ones, and, and uh, yeah, just, just wait for it. You can see on your screen right now in yellow, Trevor Cam. The, actually, the two Hawaiians, Trevor Cam and Dave Hubbard, are in third and fourth place position. That's where they don't not they don't want to be there. It is only first and second advancing on to round number three. So, Trevor Cam, he is on the hunt for a 7.08 wave. That'll put him into second place position. And Dave Hubbard looking for a 7.21 wave. And there is a priority system in place right now, four-man priority. So, uh, it's going to be a little tricky for these two guys to be able to get those high-scoring waves if they do not have the priority in their hands. So it's going to be uh, uh, 9 minutes and 40 seconds before we find out what is going to happen. So I got another question for you for Moz. Moz, beach break or reef, what is your favorite? Uh, I prefer reef. I prefer it because I grew up in Iranian Island and we don't have too much beach breaks. Uh, we just have a small beach uh, where we can have some nice beach breaks sometime, but yeah. I really prefer Reef, but uh, 
but the one I prefer will be reef with uh, with the wave like change a lot, maybe like front on or some wave like that, like uh, yeah, some unpredictable reef. Okay, so we've got um, hey. Hassan Carion, the local guy. Oh, he was in my head this morning. And how's that? Uh, how's that little ear ring thing he's yeah, got he's going got on there? Yeah, he's got a big ear ring. <laughs> and uh, he's going to be with Dallas Singer from Australia, Yuri Valadao, and John Russell. That's going to be a good one. Uh, that's going to be its second. And uh, yeah, it's going to be Ryan Hardy. Take my spot here with Manny Vargas. <laughs> that's right. He's. Uh, uh, thank you for coming in. I know uh, the times before your heats is uh, very precious. I know you got some uh, meditating, stretching, or whatever. So I appreciate everybody coming in. Uh, before their heats to, to um, you know, taking some time on uh, the internet. But uh, the fans love it. I love it. So thank you for uh, coming in. That's cool. My pleasure. Good to be here. Actually, I finished for today. We're going to back home after that and cruise, stretch, and prepare an early dinner and sleep. Yeah, we wake up every morning at 5. Okay, we've got Trevor, the Hawaiian guy, on his white wave, but maybe a heavy section inside. Boom! Oh. A nice backflip oh, through the leap, and uh, oh, yeah, it's gonna be pretty no. hard to land, and it's not gonna make it. Actually, the wave here is pretty powerful on the impact zone. Uh, the the form is dying really fast, but the impact zone is pretty powerful because it looks like a, a sandbar almost here, but it's fully reef and uh, it fully rocks actually. Yeah. So yeah, it's more powerful than you thought. So all the landing you really want to land pretty far from the from the impact zone. If you land too much in the V, and we've got Babby on this right, I had the priority. Uh, he wants to improve uh, 5.85, so he got a spin, reverse, maybe it has to be a spin. I got a big section inside, boom! And it's gonna be a big roll through the leap. And uh, yeah, he had a 5.85 with just one a single roll. So um, I think, yeah, it's gonna improve his score. He needs a 6.39, 39, sorry. So yeah, let's see the replay. That wave is pretty big. Oh, yeah, nice spin. It's pretty clean. A reverse. He lost a bit of control on the landing on the reverse, but don't lose too much speed. And, uh, and boom, a big roll through the leap. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure he's going to, I don't know if he's going to change the situation, but he's going to improve his second wave for sure and, and get a solid uh, second place. Bobby Quinones, uh, it's Mark McCarthy leading the charge right now. That's 7.88, the highest score of the heat, is uh, definitely helping him out. And his second highest scoring wave is a 6, so Mark McCarthy is stoked. Uh, Malta, India, have you tried it yet? No. Yeah, I haven't either. I need to get down there and try some of that stuff. Uh, I heard it's pretty good. Bon Pepin, another sponsor. They are uh, uh, giving us hot dogs and sandwiches to the staff to make sure we're, you know. Stay healthy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we'll stay uh, nutrient. Uh, we'll have oh, energy. Bad. Here we go. We didn't saw. Okay, a nice roll on the foamy section. Waiting for the inside. Oh, it's gonna be good. Uh oh. oh if he nice pulls split. that off, if we, if he made it, that could be a good score. Oh, uh, but no, I don't think he's gonna make it. Where that's is he? Where is he? I don't know. That's pretty hard to land in this in this part of the spot. Uh, the foam just lost totally power in this small channel because it's a bit deeper. Dave Hubbard was looking for a 7.74. I'm not sure if he got it or not, but as the the ladies uh, tasting the Malta India, that's an acquired taste, I think. I don't know. I want to try it, sample it for myself, but Ardiel Jimenez chatting it up with the Venezuela crew, and uh, there you have it, and there's his ladies. I think his ladies right here yeah. in the black bottom, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's her. So uh, here's a, a look. Five minutes, 21 seconds remaining. Bobby Quinones, a solid seven-point ride on his last wave, securing that first-place spot with a 14.5. And five minutes remaining, Mark McCarthy needs a 6.62 to wow. take that first-place spot. But now Trevor and Dave need at least a 7.61 ride, or 7.61 for Trevor and a 6.7. Sorry, 7.61 and a 7.74 respectively for Trevor and da Dave to get into that second place advancement spot. So Mark McCarthy, he uh, he shouldn't he shouldn't slow down at all because these two guys are obviously within striking distance. Yeah, we just entering the five minutes remaining, so everything is still possible. And uh, and yeah, let's see what's gonna happen. Uh, the good waves are not really consistent, but uh, but yeah, in this heat you can ha you have like. Uh, 
more than six, six waves or more than five points. So that means there is waves, and uh, you just have to find it, be at the right place, right time. All right, we got a little bit of time right now. We'll be back right after this. When it's snowing up north, you could be playing golf right here. Or here. Choose between the Caribbean or Atlantic. The view is up to you. We do golf better. Beaches. We have more than 300 to pick from. There's Flamenco. We think the most beautiful beach in the world. Just waiting for you. We do beaches better. For 500 years, people have come to Puerto Rico to create memories. It's about time. You discover why Puerto Rico does it better. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Encanto Pro here on the northwest side of Paradise in Puerto Rico. Manny V here with uh, Amari Maz Laverne as we're checking out what uh, the motorized glider taking a nice yeah, little this guy fly yesterday, by. Yesterday there was another guy with like a helicopter, was a helicopter, but that opening was helicopter. <laughs> that was scary looking. That was scary, yeah. Yeah. It's so unstable and just uh, <laughs> pretty fast and high. Yeah. yeah, that guy was just flying under the line, like uh, on top of the lineup, and just saying hi to the guys. And <laughs> with crazy. one hand, he drove yeah. that thing with one yeah. hand. Oh my <laughs> god! Uh, I wish somebody had a photo of that. If he comes out again, uh, we'll try to get it to you. But it was windy okay, and scary. So came back to that heat. We've got Let's McCarthy, go. heat leader, but he just give that wave to Dave. Priority. Uh, Dave had the priority, and Dave needed a 7.74, so he's flying inside. But oh. that wave, yeah, it's pretty tricky. Hard to get the good lines. The wind's still pretty strong, and. Um, but the tide is getting low, so yeah. Oh, my oh. on that small left, trying to get a little barrel, but nothing much. Uh, so yeah, Ruben stayed at first, uh, McCarthy second in a 6.62, Trevor in third, 7.61, and Dave about needs 7.74. So and it's two minutes remaining. So I talked to you uh, yesterday, yeah, yesterday, I think, uh, before I was getting pounded out there. Um, you're uh, going to spend some time in the Canary Islands. Yeah, I'm gonna spend a couple of months try to yeah train there and um, and yeah enjoy this amazing place for bodyboarding, and uh, it's such a good place for training. There is a, a really big bodyboarding culture and uh, and yeah like island style. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm really proud to sp spend some time there. It's been really hard for in Island recently, and uh, yeah, can really train over there and uh, hopefully back there, couple couple months and it's gonna be it's gonna be better. All right. Well, have fun out there. Hopefully, I will see you in a yeah, uh, sure. couple of weeks. A uh, couple of weeks. Hopefully, we will see uh, in the Canary Islands, the last stop on the tour. And uh, we might, depending on what happens at this event, we might see the title race end up at Fronton. So that's going to be pretty exciting. We're just going to have to wait and see what happens here. As yeah, far that would uh, be cool to have the title in Fronton. Yes, that would be. So do you know what uh, Winchester have to do to win the world title here? I think First he or second? I, I, I know I know he has to get into the finals, uh, but uh, I'm going to have that details for everybody tomorrow. But, yeah, it's going to be very interesting to see Trevor Cam punching through the lip, going for an ARS on that one. I don't think he's going to pull that off yeah, either. Yeah, he so. needs a 7.61. And, uh, yeah, Dave about on that wave. Oh, no, trying ARS to force... Is. That ARS right there, not really much there for him to do, so yeah. he's trying to... Ruben Kidona is there oh on that no. right. Uh, nice section. And boom, and a nice inverted body. I think oh. he's nose dive. He tried to twist too much. Yeah. And uh, yeah, he didn't have the time to come back. And um, and yeah, nose dive. But he's first anyway. It's 30 seconds remaining. Dave about on his last wave, just out of 1.25. And um, yeah, not enough. Yeah, pretty hard when the when the just couple seconds remaining or minutes remaining and uh, to stay calm and just to to stay um, yeah to stay conscious of what you need and which kind of wave can give you these kind of points and uh, yeah it's a uh, yeah expense. Well, you know what? We're coming down to the wire right now. Less than five seconds. It's actually pretty much over right now. And if nothing changes, well, Trevor Cam he's looking for a seven point six one. I don't know if that's going to be it right there, but... Uh, but he did everything, which is oh. good. Just surf well all the waves. He 